This is the first in a series of videos about short division and in this one I'm going to show you how to divide a two digit number by a one digit number. Let's have a look at four questions. 39 divided by 3. I need to create a space to write 39. I'll write 3 in one box and 9 in another box and then I'm going to do three outside. So the way I've written this, it says, what is 39 divided by three? We're gonna find out how many times three will go into 39. Simple. First of all, I look at how many times three goes into three. And of course, three divided by three is one. So I put the one up there. Then I have to look at how many times 3 goes into 9. 3 goes into 9 3 times. So I put the 3 up there. So the final answer to 39 divided by 3 is 13. Let's check that. And the best way to check uh, the answer to a division question is to do the inverse operation i.e. multiplication. If I do 3 times 13, I should get the answer 39. Three times three is nine. One times three is three. 39 is the answer. Right, it looks like I got it right. Next question. 69 divided by three. Create some space for the 69 one number per box, put the 3 outside, so this says what is 69 divided by 3 or how many 3's go into 69. I work from the left with division, 3 into the left hand number which is 6. Okay, 3 into 6 goes 2 times. And now, I need to ask myself, how many times does 3 go into 9? 3 goes into 9 3 times. So I put a 3 there for 3 times. And I get the answer, 23. We'll do a quick check. Does 23 times 3 give us 69? 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. 69. I got it right. Okay, next question, 96 times 4. Create some space for 96. 9 in one box, 6 in another box, 4 on the outside. So this says, what is 96 divided by 4? Or how many times does 4 go into 96? Okay, 4 into the first number, 4 into 9. This is an interesting one. 4 goes into 9 two times, doesn't it? 4 times 2 is 8, but then there's one left over. So it goes into it two times, and then the one left over, the one remainder, I'll put there, next to the 6. And now I've got to do 4 into 16. Not into 6, but 16. 4 into 16 is 4. There are four fours in 16. So here is my answer, 24. Let's check by doing 24 times 4 to see if I get the answer 96. 24 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 2 times 4 is 8 plus the one that I'm carrying, 9, 96. Okay, last question. 80 divided by 5. 80 divided by 5. Space for the 80. 8 in one box, 0 in the other box. 5 on the outside. The question says, what is 80 divided by 5? Or how many times does 5 go into 80? Okay, starting from the left. 5 into 8, 5 into 8, 
goes once and there are three left over. So I put the three remainder, I put the three left over just there next to the zero. And now I've got to ask myself, how many times does five go into 30? Five into 30 goes six times. Five times six is 30. So there's my answer, 16. 80 divided by five is 16. And I'll check that by doing a quick multiplication. Is 16 times 5 80? If so, then I'm right. 16 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. 1 times 5 is 5, plus the 3 that I was carrying, 8. And there's my answer, 80. So I was completely correct on all four of them. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the end of this video. Move to the next video to find out how to multiply, how to divide a three-digit number by a one-digit number.